Welcome to our lecture online. So two videos ago we did a special case where we calculated the moment of inertia for an object that started along the positive x-axis and revolved through a quarter turn. Then in the previous video, one later, we calculated the general equation of how to find the momentum on an object that rotates through any angle and started from any particular location. And so now what we're going to do is we're going to assume that the starting angle is 0 degrees, the rotation angle is 90 degrees, and our general equation for the momentum should collapse back to the special case that we saw, which was the question uh, of, the, of the viewer. And again, we weren't given exactly the starting point and the ending point, so that's why also using a general equation then allows us to solve for any particular problem. But we want to see here that this equation gets us back to the special case that we showed two videos ago. So, let's plug in these values and see what we get. So that means that the impulse is equal to the mass times the initial velocity, the magnitude, times the sine of 180 degrees plus theta. Now theta is going to be zero, that's our starting angle, plus phi, which is 90 degrees. In the x direction, plus the cosine, of theta, which is 0 degrees, plus phi, which is 90 degrees. And that would be in the y direction. And then we add, the, or no, we subtract the sine of 180 degrees plus theta, which is 0, that's in the x direction, plus the cosine of theta, which is 0, because we start from a 0 position, and that would be, uh, let's see here, uh, cosine of 0 degrees, and that's in the y direction, like that. Now all we have to do is simplify it. So the momentum is going to be m times v sub naught times the sine of, a, of 180 plus 90 is 270. The sine of 270 is a negative 1. So it would be a negative 1 in the x direction. The cosine of 90 degrees is 0, so that would be plus 0 in the y direction. The sine of 180 is 0, so that would be minus 0 in the x direction. And the cosine of 0 is 1, but times the negative would be minus 1 times the y direction. Like this. I don't know if I need the parentheses anymore. I can probably just get rid of it. Notice now when we combine the two, that would be equal to m times v sub naught times negative 1 in the x direction, negative 1 in the x direction, and negative 1 minus 1 in the y direction. And if you go back to videos ago, that was the exact result that we got when we calculated the momentum when we started from the positive x-axis and we rotated through a 90-degree angle. So you can see that the general equation will collapse into any special case equation and give you the correct value for the impulse calculated for a rotating or revolving object. And that is how it's done. So is it better to um, come up with the general equation every time? <laughs> Is it better to come up with the general equation if this was like a test question? Hmm. Well, that depends. Um, I would say if the question read that it would be from any angle theta and any angle phi, then you probably better come up with the general equation first before you apply it. Yeah, I would recommend that you come up with the general equation and then plug in the values and try to come up with the special equation. Of course, if you want to draw it out and you just simply want to work off the drawing and find the angles and the values, eh, that can be done as well. So I guess you could get around it not getting the general formula and just kind of work off the drawing if you want to do that. I think this is a safer method. You agree? Hey, you agree with me. <laughs> What's the date? <laughs> <laughs> 